house phone and Adam 22 went at it. And his main point, like Adam was not comprehending. You don't ever say something like that, no matter what you've done, how much you contributed. Like that's such a sensitive topic to like throw in someone's face. And that's insensitive. So house phone had every right to be like, bro, like w when you're talking about my mom or talking about something personal to me, why are you saying? everybody welcome back to the demo podcast it's neela and it is adis what's up family what is good man house phone and adam 22 went at it you know Niels, when i watched that video right i was hella sad bro because i felt like there was this tension brewing so for all of you that don't know or haven't seen i'm sure you guys have adam 22 and house phone finally went face to face on camera and had a discussion on their live and it didn't turn out uh, as best as it should be, but the end result was pretty good. They came back together, but they got an argument and House Phone threw a drink at Adam's face. You really Hold think on. that after all these years, the, the connection oh. between us is not a real friendship? That's good to know because I was under the impression that we did I, have a real friendship during all these years. Bro. If that doesn't I mean anything you. to you, I'm glad that I now know. Bro, don't try to do some mental gymnastic and then let's, let's move forward to that apology you gave. When you're on the news, you're talking about, yeah, he's been going through the mom shit. He's been going through the health shit. You're talking about the person that raised me, that birthed me, my best friend that died. Oh, just he's been going through the mom shit. But you, you, are you actually acting like I have some kind of disrespect for your mom when you're I fucking. Disrespectful as I paid for the first funeral of all, as soon as it all. happened just because. No. I think that Adam 22 was doing a lot of gaslighting like he had no argument in my humble opinion like I don't have anything against either I think the situation we talked about this in the past in the previous episode but like it could have been handled differently and Adam said that like I shouldn't have had them post it whatever I think house phone has every point he's very valid I think his life was shifted the most from that and his main point like Adam was not comprehending like I don't think and then obviously shit got like more and more like um just like triggering when he brought up his mom and then Adam dropped the I paid for the funeral like you don't ever say something like that no matter what you've done how much you contributed like that's such a sensitive topic to like throw in someone's face in a heated environment like that. So absolutely well-deserved. Like, I, I would have... He ha House Phone handled it so well because they were able to just be cordial after, but, like, I would have been so offended. House Phone, like the true G he is, I've been holding it down for House Phone since day one, handled like a G, mm -hmm. like a G would. And, like, to your point, bro, in a moment like that where you know you're in the wrong, for whatever reason, I feel like Adam is kind of teetering on the I'm wrong slash like I didn't do it to be vindictive. And like if he didn't post that video originally with the trans girl, Gracie Jane, on purpose, then I understand if like we both talked about this before, you shouldn't have even posted or gave that person that clout to even roast or like kind of out your homie and long term friend and colleague from the jump right but then when you guys are discussing it you should just take the l wholeheartedly and just sit there and listen and absorb the information house phone is saying you feel me because at the end of the day bro when you bring up something uh to towards like the realm of something that's super close like house phone's mom in a heated situation where you can see on house phone's face he's not having it because like you said Niels, his Life will forever be altered by this. It's not like it's people will forever hold that stamp on bro that like, oh, you mess with the trans person or like you had whatever. And you're a rapper. You're a host on a on a huge platform, bro. The thing is that like Adam is actual homies with house phones. So it's different when you're actually like collectively not only in business, but apparently good friends. They've known each other since what, 2016, he said. So like it's a different like dynamic when they're talking about your homie like that on what you know is a recorded podcast. Even if there is editing in place, it should have already been, 
you feel me done done with like it shouldn't have even moved forward with like the episode when they were talking about it in there that moment no interview, Adam bro, should have like, just been like wait like this is too hot like there, we need to get some like approvals before we like even talk about this because even in that atmosphere who was there who was listening you know like it doesn't matter if it's just like the editors and like the main team like it was his business and uh, to your point like it's something it's not like something that people just like you will always be remembered for something like that he even said house one was like my sister had to call me to make sure i didn't commit suicide because his family members like that's so up. like i felt bad for the guy and on top of all that adam is sitting there trying to find every single argument possible to talk about really if we're not friends and i i'm sad that you think we didn't for friends like that you literally don't have an argument my guy everything you're saying just sounds so stupid at this point because like that you are at the wrong yeah. in my personal opinion he was at the wrong that should have never aired it should have stopped like deaded it as they were talking about it type shit you feel me like wait hold up this is like I don't know if Adam would care if the tables were turned because that guy's wild and, like, does whatever. But, like, you know, like, I think it was just, it was wrong. The whole situation was wrong. And on top of that, bro, what made the the argument escalate to where it got and, like, why House Phone got up, threw the mic off, like, threw everything to the side to go and, like, throw whatever drink, Jamba Juice or whatever at Adam was because, like, bro tried to rebuttal with, like, what do you mean I don't care about you and your mom? I paid for the funeral, bro. In that moment, that's, I, that's one thing I hate so much and dislike. When people throw in things that they've done for you in your face, bro, then don't do it from the jump, bro. I hate like, people like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's like I don't think Adam's intention was like to like out it like that, but it came out the way it came out. And that could be something that like, you know, Adam is pushed up into a corner and he's like, yo, house phone, why would you say some shit like that when I, I helped you with the funeral shit? But that's something that none of us should even know about, bro. That's sensitive like, information. That's sensitive that's information. That's not a def defense mechanism. Like exactly. you don't use those words, like use your words wisely. Like that's not something you say. Yeah, exactly. Like maybe he was just trying to like excuse, like explain. Because house phone like, did, yeah, like house phone did say like, you know, it was lightweight disrespectful how you talked about my mom and the situation I, I uh, went through with my mom. You t you said something along the lines like, you know, house phones going through that mom shit. Like, yeah. The mo what do you mean the mom shit? His mom passed away, bro. Like, and that's insensitive. So house phone had every right to be like, bro, like w when you're talking about my mom or talking about something personal to me, why are you saying his mom shit? And then he also like avoided filming a previous week. He like canceled it and house phone kept flagging. Like you couldn't even see me in the face to like talk about it. And like, you called me like, are we good? Like it just sat. Adam cannot be more obvious for being in the wrong. And I really believe that he should have just been like, and he did own up to a lot of it saying like, I understand it was wrong. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. And, and Faust one was like, you should have, would have cut it. Right. So like, I think he acknowledged it, took accountability, was apologetic, but still like, I stand with House Phone trying to get his point across because Adam is still, I don't think he's still understanding like the depth of like what it's caused and why it shouldn't have happened. And it makes me think like the emotional maturity like people have, it doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't matter like your emotional intelligence can be seen so clearly when you're on camera every single day. How House Phone like dealt with all of this, even not even firing on bruh, like those, I thought House Phone was gonna get up and start firing on Adam. You feel, Adam flinched from the jump, you feel me? And throwing a water, which personally I wouldn't do, you feel me? Like, but Throwing, like doing that instead of what he could have done type shit and like fired on him, you know, shows me and even coming back because after the whole incident where he threw the water, they got separated, tone, their bodyguard came in and broke them up and shit. They all came together and finished the hour and a half, two hour segment where like they let bygones be bygones and they worked through that like heated tense moment right then and there instead of it being prolonged. And a lot of people are talking about like house phone, bro, like. I, I don't know, bro. If it was me, I would have done yada, yada, yada. And I think Hasfun carries some sense of professionalism with him. At the end of the day, he realizes it's business and yeah. still had to proceed with the episode, which is honestly, given that situation and that heated in that moment, I would have been really upset too. But I think he was just like, I think House Phone had accepted the fact of what happened and in a way wasn't surprised that Adam pulled that. He said that. Yeah. He was like, bro, you've yeah. done this shit before, but it just happened to happen to yeah. me now. I think he just wanted to be like, what you did was disrespectful. You need to acknowledge it and understand the consequences. And then I, don't, I just don't believe Adam handled it too well. So, like, it's just, it was interesting. But I do appreciate how they were able to come back collectively and, like, finish the episode or the podcast because you don't see that often, especially on No Jumper. Like, when they swing and they're mad and they're upset, they out. Like, it's like, so I think House Phone and 
a sense, is very mature about the situation. Even aside from No Jumper, when he went on the previous podcast and owned it and straight up said, I did what I did, like, so many other people would have tried to, like, avoid it or, like, talk about it or defend themselves or lie about it and all these things. So I low-key, like, admire House Phone's entire approach to the, the situation because it's very mature. Yeah. And, and you did what you did. That's on you. That's what I agree with that. And I think a lot of people are asking him, like, bro, how how would you come back on this platform type shit? Like, why would you even, like... And House Phone said, he's like, bro, like, I, I've been here since, like, day one type shit. Like, why would I throw it all away? And, like, kudos to him, bro. If you're able to look at your homie in the face after how he did you, which, personally, I feel like it was just a bad judgment call. I don't condemn Adam uh, and be like, you're just a shitty person. I think he makes some shitty decisions in his life because it's, like, the environment, first and foremost, that you surround yourself in. Adam22 found a lucrative, uh, a little... Uh, position in this grand scheme of things with the internet where it's filled with drama filled with interviews clout. With the, and clout and shit and he knows how to bring the brand to a point where it's getting millions of views a month a year or whatever bro this is the environment he's in so of course you're gonna absorb that information and it's gonna be, make you become this like a uh, uh, numbers driven drama driven like kind of guy no, you see that in his interviews all the time and i've spoken about his like um, approach on when he communicates and interviews people. It's very like trying to lure them in and talk, get a lot of information out of them. He does carry that skill. He's good at like getting people to say what he wants the people to hear. So like in those senses, yes, but still to what, at what cost, like at what point do you draw the line and understand that this is somebody, my business partner, my friend who's on the podcast, maybe I shouldn't take it this far. It's not worth the 40, 50,000 views for this. But again, exactly to your point, And I think household knows this too. It's just the environment that that podcast is in and, and, the audience that it carries is all clout driven all like drama and like you know like only fans girls and all these things and so that content was really necessary for their podcast i just don't know that it was the right content because it involved house phone and that's not fair but again you know if he just knew in ahead of, ahead of time are they properly edited or maybe just flagged it from the start, you know, to avoid this. I think Adam, I don't think he's a bad person. Me neither. He, at the end of the day, has to carry the business, and I get that. But I also think he just made a poor judgment call, and it wasn't really thought out. And the editor owned it, too, and said we messed up and, like, fumbled and didn't edit the name out all the way. But it was still very clear. It's been getting raunchy, and a lot of people are like, there has to be consequences that get into play because it is a business it's a company you work for i don't know if they're w2 i don't know how they get paid type shit but it's like there should be like a little like on the editor or on you can't really knock the boss type shit you feel me because adam is the boss but it's like like you said like at what cost bro like are you gonna throw your homie under the bus but also for me right and Niels knows this, my family knows this my friends know this i'm a terrible judge of character bro i let people in my life that end up me over that I extend my hand to and in the end you know like you get bitten by the snake type shit right and like I'm starting to realize right the people you surround yourself and even the people that you don't surround yourself if you see someone treating someone disrespectfully if they rock like say you're close to somebody right but that person has ill will or just ill intentions on like randos and shit and they treat random people like shitty right they might if that's how they are with others even though you're close to them, there might be a day that comes by where they run you over with the car. Dude, I've seen this happen. I've seen it happen to people who are, there's very, there's a lot of people who are out there that are selfless like yourself and like see the good in everybody. And there are also other people who are just pure opportunists. And that's scary. That's scary because what, depending on what side you're on, it could really mess you up, you know? And you, out of the kindness of your heart, you see the good in people, so you want to give them a chance and let them in and share your life with them. And then other people have a different motive, and they're just condescending, or they have an alternative, like alternative, like you know, they they just want to have a different like outcome. And so with that, I think it's just p understanding people, especially when it comes to business. No matter how long you've done business with them, bro, it's wild. Exactly like that podcast. I mean, they're business partners at the end of the day, whether they're friends or not. House One is on the podcast. Like, he gave him an opportunity on his platform. So it's like, you know, he probably should have led better, but I don't know. It's going to be something that, like, this will die down. And regardless of this affecting House Phone in the present moment, I think that people have short-term memory in this in this world. And I've been preaching this since day one. It's like... But he's not canceled. Like, it's not a cancel culture thing. It's not a cancel culture thing. But as a rapper, you know, as like a... 
a rapper that has this internet presence and you have high rollers, his brand, and like you're the face, it definitely isn't going to help his brand. It's it's going to affect him negatively, but it's not like a cancel culture. Or are you talking about Adam or House Phone? House Phone. Yeah, it, no one's going to cancel, because yeah. Bruh's a cool ass dude, you feel yeah. me? But it is like a small little stain on his like bravado when it comes to his music Reputation type shit, too, you feel though. me? Like, He's a real G, you feel me? I don't know if he was under the influence. I don't know what he's into or whatever, but it's like at the end of the day, bro, when your homie does that to you from your own camp, it hurts a little bit. But at the end of the day, I'm happy that bro decided to stay with the platform, stay with the podcast because I'm going to keep it G with you, bro. These fans, these people that are out there absorbing this information that are watching on YouTube, watching on TikTok, watching on Instagram, they have attention uh, spans of little squirrels, as do I, bro. I'll get crazy information presented to me, bro, and in two weeks, more crazy information comes out and makes you completely forget about it, bro. That's the industry. That's how they stay That's relevant. The yeah, no, nobody stays on that same hype on, like, what, the drama and, like, it's five minutes. On Everyone, you're canceled five seconds later, you're already up and running again. We forget. Like, it's not a big deal. And it is case like you do what you do in the dark to, with yourself like you that's your business it just sucks that I was outed like that by your homie but at the end of the day everybody got secrets and so it's just like you know do you I think that the way he's handling it I do it I I admire like a true G mm-hmm. and where can they find us Niels youtube.com slash the Dima podcast TDP we out we out